Mm, man. I drank my iced tea quite thoroughly, so I don't know. I'll leave it. Right there. Good night, Mr. Panther. I see you sleeping in there. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Spiky. Yeah, there he is. How many of those night at the museum did they make anyway? Three? Yeah, that was the third one. I thought missed one. I was the second one. No, I thought there might have been a that might have been fourth or fifth, I don't know. I don't keep track anymore. They keep making the same damn movies over and over again. <laughs> that was pretty good. No, it was alright, but I thought not as good as the first one. The second one was funny. Yeah. It's really the same movie, you know. It's yeah. Same characters, kind of rehashed. Wow. No, that, that I can sure feel the humidity walking up in the house. <laughs> All right, Mike. Till next time. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be all. Okay. Yep. You got what? Camera. Oh, the one in the car. You mean? I thought you were talking about this one. Yeah, I, I put it back up. I'll call you and I'll let you know where I'm at. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't tell me the car was doing that. <laughs> so that was shit down on a fucking flat tire now. <laughs> Alright, I'll call you. Hundred and forty seven thousand and thirteen uh. miles. Oh, let's see. It's about what's gonna be when I get back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's Jeep's gonna have uh, mm. a couple of three thousand miles on it. Well, what are you going to do, sleep in military bases all the way over there? Well, it doesn't really matter. The, the what do you call, um, hotels are thrown in. Huh? So, I got Best Western uh, points. One more and I get a free night. One lady was really nice. She actually gave me the money for the free night on the way back from uh, Florida just now, a month ago, two oh. months ago, whenever. That was nice, yeah. Uh, let's see, because I wanted to watch uh, the Ranger game. Between you and me, I was ready to fucking lay down and fucking collapse. <laughs> That's how fucking tired. I mean, I was that fucking tired. Because usually I complain about checking into a hotel at 5, 6 o'clock in the evening. I'm like wired until 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, then I don't want to get up till 10 o'clock. Uh -huh. Yeah, my sleep's all fucked up. He was like, well, we'll check in at 5, and I'm like, whatever, fine, I'll just lay there. Well, of course, I did not sleep the night before, and I got to Joe, drive 12, 13 hours. So when we finally checked into the hotel, I was like, holy shit, am I fucking tired. So I get into my room. I know, you told me the story on the TV. Huh? Well, so when it was all done, you know, they comped the room, and then she says, well, you know what? Yeah, here's the room anyway, and I kind of she threw in like an extra hundred bucks or something. I'm like, oh, that'll work. Okay. So you're just going to stay at regular hotels along the way, then? Just Best Western. Well, if I can get a Best Western, yeah. Mm -hmm. I said to Mike, 12, 17 hours or earlier. If I get tired, that's it. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling over. It's too bad that I don't have any delivered RV out there. You can just sleep in the damn thing. Hmm. I'm not going for world records. You know, that's it. I get tired. I'm, I'm done. I'm pulling over. Or, and they, like I said, I unintentionally drove to Florida both ways, unintentionally. It was just like, well, maybe we'll go a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, fuck it, next thing you know, I'm in North Jersey. Fuck, I'll just go home, you know? <laughs> I ain't doing that in this trip. I can't. That's, that's, that's 27 hours of driving. It's not happening. If I can do 15-ish hours or seven. If I can do like 12 to 15 in one day, I'll be happy. <laughs> you know, I'll be more than happy with that.
nothing to see along the way? <sighs> well, I'm going to do that with the... If I ever get the station wagon job, I'll, I'll do that. That one, I'll zigzag. That one, she said, take your time. This one, I just want to be done with this, with, the, with this trip. The, you know, the van is loaded. It's, it, uh, it's a van? I thought it was no, a Jeep. It's a Jeep. Oh. You know, I just, just want to get it out there, get it to her. All right, you know. Got a fan or air conditioning room I can I can nap in. Okay, all right, gotta go. <laughs> Out. I'm not. What about the two weeks of indentured servitude? No you gotta spend that there. Freaking way. No freaking way. Yeah, move a few things around the house. Maybe get the neighbor to help move a few things. Whatever. That's it. That's as far as it's going. I ain't going out there with work boots and coveralls, painting the inside, the outside. I heard something about a busted roof. I'm like, yeah, no, no. I take side jobs and look what they all are, okay? <laughs> and it ain't landscaping and it's not construction. The reason for that. Two buses fueling at once. get a trip to DC for what uh, that one it's hard to say can't get a clear answer she wants to go down and see family members or cousins so I do not know if this is gonna be uh, why, why are you two inches behind my bumper with your fucking brights on yeah go around me just, just, just go around me there you go mm -hmm. I hope a fucking cop gets you the one headlight. I'm doing 40. Look, look, he's pulling away from me like he's mm -hmm. doing 50. Yeah. But knowing his luck. So what are you doing in D.C.? Oh, yeah. So she tell me she wants to drive down to D.C. And I got three different answers. Three different possible uh, possibilities here. One, drive down, stick in a hotel for the night. And then we'll, you know, you and me will come back the next day. That's, or she goes, or I might stay the week and I'll give you my car and you go back home and I'll call you up in a week. Who wants to do this? Your landlady? No. No. Oh. No, 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 no. Or th this is one of one of my snowbirds. Oh. You know, or, or door number three is, is like a day or two or something. You pop into the White House, you hang out with O for a couple of days, you know? stay there for a week that I might rent a car or fly down to Florida. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if I want to stay in D.C. for a week. Look at that guy. Long gone. Oh, yeah. That's like, and then she won't give me a defeat. She won't give me a month. So then I told her I'm going away uh, in August to uh, Detroit. Why are you going to... Who goes to Detroit? Why would you want to go there? <laughs> I mean, what possible reason <laughs> did you have to go... Anybody have to go to Detroit? We're going to go see uh, Cousin Ed up in Erie. And spend uh, a couple, three nights there. And then we're going to go visit family in uh, 
Oh, for Shopton, Cleveland, and then um, then my landlady. She's going to her 60th uh, high school reunion. In Detroit? No, in Cleveland. Then, not, not much better. Then what happens in Detroit? Oh, she wants to go to the Henry Ford uh, Museum. Any there. idea that place has the highest murder rate in the country? The whole fucking country? Yes. Worse, even the Louisiana, you know, New Orleans and that. Yes, shit like that. yes. God. <laughs> That's like going to fucking Beirut. <laughs> you know, during the Troubles, as they say. She wants to go or, to uh, Detroit and... Uh, or Belfast, for that matter, during the Troubles, yeah. She uh, wants to see the Henry Ford Village. Good luck. It's or, probably in ruins like the rest of the fucking place. Where it's always 1908. And now it probably looks like it was abandoned in 1908. <laughs> Junkies and fucking... Burnt out buildings. <laughs> Downtown Baltimore. <laughs> you buy a house for 79 cents. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what she wants to do. Okay. So we'll go, you know, hotel the night before. That evening, well, there, there's, you know, hors d'oeuvres, cocktail hour. You know, and then the next day there's a picnic, and then the reunion in the reunion hall, and, you know, class of 1954, 1953, whatever. The reunion hall is probably also in ruins. <laughs> so I said, not a problem. So that's where you want to go? Yeah. Okay. It's Detroit. It's a big problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> Better tell her to bring that little pistol of hers with her. She's gonna need it. <laughs> if you get in trouble in Detroit, the cops in the fire department say, fuck you, we ain't getting paid. We ain't helping your stupid ass. We're gonna sit right here and watch you burn. Yeah. Oh, did you see the dead skunk? Mm-hmm. Mangled on the yellow line. I've seen those videos on YouTube. Detroit is just about a dead city by the look of it. Pay, no retirement, no medical, no dental. Crumbling infrastructure, deteriorating social conditions. Jesus Christ. It's like the South Bronx in 1970. I mean, who the fuck would want to go there? Even worse, yeah. Plates. Oh, it better be Connecticut plates. That silver fucking car. You fucking cocksucker. Oh, I hope so. Oh, let, let it be a silver car with Connecticut plates. Oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Get behind me with fucking brights and tailgating and go around me, you fucking asshole. This guy parked on a fucking road. He is in the fucking road. What else is doing that? Yes! Yes, yes, it is! Fuck him in the ah. ass! Fuck him right up the ass, you asshole! Oh, God. I'll teach you to tailgate me. <laughs> oh, boy. God, I got my episode of Cops for the night. Booyah! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're in a big hurry to get somewhere. You got somewhere, all right? Yep. Out of the fucking road. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, crack a high five. There you uh, go. <laughs> sir, have you been drinking this evening? Is that marijuana I smell? <laughs> what are those pills you got there in the console? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> are you the licensed owner of this vehicle, the registered owner? Huh? <laughs> this car, you know, do you realize this car has been reported stolen? <laughs> Car comes back as being wanted in connection with a homicide God. in Bridgeport. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're in a just stolen car, I don't think they politely come up to the window like that guy did. No. Nope. They, they just set the lights on and wait for other cars to show up. Yep. Shotguns drawn down, get out of the car real slow. Uh -huh. yeah. 10 13 on the side of the road. Carload of 187 suspects. What did 
I say earlier back there by the nut house? I hope a cop pulls and gets yeah, his ass. Yeah, well, let me see. You put the hoodoo on him, look what happened. <laughs> well, I didn't get to see cops tonight. Could go back and give video evidence. <laughs> oh, we really fucking love that. <laughs> You know, officer, that bastard was tailgating and Which he speeding. was, and I got, I got, I got yeah. double video of it, too. Yeah. I would have if he was like, if he went in front of me and jammed the brakes on and was trying to run me off the road, I would. Actually, I would. Uh, but, uh, no. <laughs> Just another asshole tailgating one around me. Four, maybe five years ago, coming down 22, and some woman, I think, in an old Subaru station wagon, who she apparently used to offer meds. I later found out, uh -huh. tailgating, and, and it just came right up on me, and it gave her. And I, I was on the phone with the state police, and I said, "Get the psycho woman off of me," you know. And then they came right down, and they pulled. They they, they, had, a, they had a jaw down on her practically. Oh and they my got God. her. Yeah, I was. They 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 had. They were behind her. Like she wouldn't pull over. Uh -huh. And they finally had, they came alongside her and almost had to get her on. And then later found out she was off of her meds. That, that's, uh, what they, that's what they told me. You know, they, they pulled us both. They, I, I pulled over to the side there and then like four of them, they, they drew, almost drew down on her from what I was, you know, oh, wow. That's what they were telling, well, not telling me, but you, know, you could tell that it was not a pleasant pullover. And they later came up to me and I just filled out a statement like, all right, she was off her meds, whatever, and she's not supposed to be driving and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah. No shit, she ain't supposed to be behind the wheel. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you close the institutions. Mm -hmm. Totally fucking psycho. I'm just, nobody behind me, and all of a sudden she just comes up behind me and throws yeah. her hands in the air and going like this. Oh, the world the is phone. full of fucked up people. You're going to meet some of them in Detroit. In fact, yeah. most of them. Because most of the solid people who could get away from there did. <laughs> The cell phone while driving? Nope. Not this hour of the night. Uh -huh. I've already got one of them videos. Cop would have liked to have had that video of uh, the asshole tailgate me going around. Oh, probably. <laughs> Depends on how big a prick the driver's being. Right? Maybe he's got a really good excuse. I gotta take a wicked shit, man. Oh my god. I ate bad Chinese food in New Milford. Oh. <laughs> there you have, you know, I mean, it's just. Step out of the car. Do you realize this car is stolen? Why, no. <laughs> I thought it was my sister's car. She just bought it yesterday. Whose car is this? It's a I'm friend's car. I'm breaking it in for a friend. Let me get back, we should have a better picture. Whatever the hell is gonna be going on down with us. With what? The yard. Oh. I'll find out. I 
estimate uh, I should be back hopefully before July 4th weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm giving no definitive dates to nobody. I was on the phone with her uh, Friday. Okay, so you're leaving Friday? No. Why not? Uh, I mean, I just got the Jeep Friday. I just got it yesterday. Huh. And it's got to get repacked. I cannot see out the back window, and I'm hunched over like this. Ah. Like this, literally. Oh and, and I'm like, so I'm going, that, that ain't flying. Uh, no, I need to recline back and stretch my legs a little. Not happening. So I got to go over to the sister's house, repack the car, and then I hate to break the news to her. Some of this shit's going to have to go in the fucking mail. Uh -huh. I am not driving a U-Haul truck with no fucking rear view mirror. It's not happening. And I am not driving hunched over. 32 uh -huh. years old. And I'm doing PT almost every day of the week on my best fucking day. After eight hours of driving like that, I was not happy at the end of that trip going from Virginia to here. Well, driving with obstructed vision and unsafe load is against the load. The whole anyway. entire ride home, I'm like this, looking at the, re the mirror, side mirrors. I, already, I was driving up a fucking wall. I didn't like that. I did that 32 years old on my best fucking day, and I was dying at the end of that fucking trip. You think I'm driving 3,000 miles like that? Uh -huh. It's not happening. And I already told her, I was like, I'm coming, I'm coming to see her tomorrow at uh, 2 o'clock. I said, we're going to unpack everything, repack it, you know, and then she's like, we take stuff out of bags? Absolutely, whatever works. I said, I've been, boom. I'm, I am not driving like that. Has it got a roof rack? No, ain't nothing going on that roof. <laughs> nope. It's already packed uh, badly inside. You don't need it. We're not. Oh, it's Grand Cherokee's got a lot of room in there. Don't surprise. It's packed. That thing is. Did they packed. put the seats down to pack it? Yep. Okay. There ain't no back to all. Yeah, they're they're, they're down. So I'm, I'm like, look, we're gonna unpack all this shit. So many words. I said repack it, and I said if I still can't. What the I fuck is it? It's so important they can't get their stuff out there. God, it's a birth certificate, oh. high school diploma, like all kind of stuff that she don't want to put in the mail. I said that's fine. Uh, you know, but I said some of this stuff, clothes, whatever. What, like moving out there permanently or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I said, if, if I can't, if I can't feng shui this, I said, we're going to start taking shit to the post office here. You put yeah, insurance on all. it. So I, I do this all the time. Priority mail. I send shit to every corner of the fucking world. Mm-hmm. And I said, there's no if, ands, or buts. I'm the driver here. Yeah. I'm, I'm the one suffering here. I need to... You know, be reclined like this, not hunched over like this, and my knees up. Like, I am not to hell no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See what kind of mood I'm in. You know, if I gotta check in to two hotels, who gives a shit? You know? Yeah. Jane, same thing. I leave when I leave. I don't know. It's going to be within a day or two. It'll be Tuesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, the latest, because I yeah. want her to get this over with. How long are you staying out there? Not long. <laughs> Not long at all. Uh -huh. Just long enough to get a ride to the airport. That's it. Or the bus station. Well, no, I'm taking a plane. Or the train station. Or the train from Erie. That was, that was pretty bad. Why? Oh my god, freaking slam track the whole way. I was already ragged out to begin with. You didn't have a sleeper compartment? No. Why not? It's all uh, Ed could afford at the time. Ah. Uh -huh. I was already there. I only had two hours of sleep. And I ride some filthy train all the way back to Poughkeepsie. I thought, oh my god. And that was after a trip back from Florida. I just got back from Florida the day before. <laughs> I drove from Florida. Come in, sleep in a hot room. The phone rings and it won't quit because she's got it on a, you know, 58 ring minimum before she picks it up. <laughs> oh, God. oh, well, you have a seat on Scream Airlines all the way home. Guarantee we'll get your pieces home. Hmm. Always get get the you know seats next to the screaming kids. Seat next to the 
garrulous nut job who wants to explain to you why the aliens have been into his mind. <laughs> and yeah. haven't brought it back yet. Took one trip to Florida. This is back in, uh, I'm still on active duty. And they're back there drinking, laughing, yelling. I'm thinking, have you fucking people ever been out of the trailer park before? Oh, oh passion oh, fruits. God, my God. Reminds me of the story of that German airliner that crashed. They had a a girl group called Passion Fruit or something like that. They were popular in Europe. Yeah, I heard of them. Okay, but well, they were performing and they were on this plane and it was a business, you know, a couple traveling for business and they were like in the seats right behind this pageant group and they're carrying on and carousing and everything back there and finally they decided because the plane was always empty they'd move to different seats, I think further into the back, which they did. It was quieter. Well, the plane crashed coming in for a landing. Somehow it came in too low, missed the airport, hit the trees, crashed. The business couple lived. Ah. Everybody that had been sitting in their section was dead. Oh my God. Including passion fruit. I've heard of them. I heard that rings a bell yeah. somewhere in the news. It's going to have been in the 90s sometime. So that was ironic. You, know. you move because of the noise and it saves your life. Hope I don't have on a flight with a crazy person that had to beat the guy up to detain him because he was mentally unstable to travel uh -huh. and off his meds. So, you know, uh -huh. always hearing about this. Or the pilot who goes gaga. Hmm. My girlfriend dumped me. Now I'm going to crash this plane to the side of the mountain and kill us all. That's the one plane they couldn't reconstruct in the hangar. Yeah. The pieces was his mom. Shredded like, like, a, like a paper shredder. Oh, gee, did I forget to tell you we shouldn't have been flying? Yeah. Yeah, they took a black eye on that one. Yes, they did. Now all of Europe changed your rule to our rule now. Yeah. No single pilots in the cockpit. Just hold your fucking pistol to hit the ground, shit in your pants, we don't care. I'll leave that fucking cockpit alone with something. And then you know what happened when they got the flight recorder? They heard uh, the, the, co the pilot banging to get back yeah, the people door screaming and people screaming else. in the background. Yeah. So, yeah. Everybody was saying, well, everybody went quietly. No, they did not. Uh -huh. Before they... <laughs> Because of one squirrel brain, everybody's got to die, yeah? So now if the pilot or pilot probably leave the cockpit, they got to call in one of the other flight crew in there. Steward is a steward. Somebody. I didn't think we have that rule over here. Yeah. yeah. Like that apparently it was a problem once. Never again. Well, they couldn't get the fucking door open in time. I forgot that fucking door open. Sheer panic, gotta slam right the fuck through it. Being heavy has its advantages sometimes. Yeah, we still don't know where 370 is. Yeah. Probably another pilot who went nut job. I don't think that was an act of terrorism. For the sheer fact, nobody's taking responsibility for it. I have a feeling that was uh, the pilot. One or the other of the pilots went nut. I mean, it's not the first time it's happened. That Egyptian airliner at that time. That guy put the plane into the fucking ground. That crazy baggage handler got fired. And Hmm. Got on an airplane with his ID and shot the fucking flight crew and shit and crashed the fucking plane on purpose and it happens. So it's at the bottom of the ocean? Probably. Where else are you gonna hide an airliner that big? Hmm. The only other option is it was taken by terrorists who killed the fucking people on global gas, flew the plane to some place in Pakistan or Africa somewhere, and have now repainted it in somebody else's colors, and they're packing it as a giant bomb. They're going to fly it over here. Other than that, the only other option really is it's under the water somewhere, scattered in little pieces to three miles down someplace, you know, to be found by accident 35 years and the mystery solved. Hmm. Drunk? I don't think so. He's not wavering. Probably an older person, a little unsure about driving at night. I think we're drunk. Maybe. 
do have a taillight out. I don't think we have a clue here. Speed limit is 40. Barely doing 30 here. Would have turned the lights on by now. Yeah. That taillight gives them all the cause they need. Yeah, it's one thing to be going 60 in a 40, but I'm barely holding 30 here. Barely. About 38 miles an hour. For now, but before I was, I was, mm -hmm. let's see, look at this thing. Thinking, is that a cop behind me? Is that a cop behind me? Oh God, is that a cop behind me? Hmm. Come on, oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> you know, for fuck's sake! Uh, Jesus. Recognized him and went past. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's Sheriff Don Smith. Hmm. A regular at the uh, bar? He's on, his way, no, he's on his way home. I hear he has uh, night vision problems. That don't stop him. <laughs> They're using the force. Still not at the light. <laughs> Still not at the light. <laughs> well, that's of course, he turned it to the golf course or one of the uh, condominiums over there. If he was weaving all over the road, I would actually yeah. turn the car on, have you videotape it. Probably went to the condominiums. Yeah. Right through the white fence. Well, I mean, maybe he lives there. <laughs> Come on. All right, well, I'll keep you guys posted on my whereabouts. All right, Scott. I don't know when I'm leaving. Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, the fucking latest. Yep. Maybe, I don't know.
Have a good trip, a safe trip. We'll see you when you get back. And I got two boxes for you. Oh, okay. Fucking rock is that? Board thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's for like to put at the bottom of a box. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I <laughs> yeah, That's what it came in. Oh. Yeah, I think it came in this. Well, let me get my bag of goodies here. Forgot to turn the camera on. All right. 